What is up guys, Prime Up in here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. Today we're going to be going over, I'm actually a day late, I said in my uh, producer's letter video I would have it up yesterday, but stuff came up so it's going up today. Um, we're going to go over the Crestoria event and banner and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what we're going to do. But first, I want to mention something I ended up coming across that I found kind of interesting. I don't know how long it's been here or why I never completed these before. But for whatever reason, in the first tab, there are some missions for the third arc. You know, the third arc story has... Uh, if you complete the final mission on normal, it gives you 10 diamonds each, which obviously I've already completed the entire third arc, so I don't know when they added these missions, but, um, yeah, if it, that's an extra, like, so obviously I've already done the first two because it go, it starts at three here, so what's that, three, four, five, so it goes all the way to, okay, so it doesn't count 10 and 11, so it counts 12, so you've got nine... So you basically got a hundred diamonds you can get there. So do three, chapter three one to three nine, and then do three twelve. Um, so that's a hundred diamonds right there if you're looking to uh, save up some more currency. Next, let's go ahead and look at the banner, and then we'll hop into the event itself. Um, I did one multi, and I got the most insane multi of my life. Uh, in the history of, like, any gacha game. Um, I got all three new mirror jarts in one multi. Uh, I wish I had been doing it on camera, but, you know, had I waited, I might not have gotten the same multi. Uh, Kanata, Mizella, and the duo mirror jart from Nazar and Mercuria were all in one multi. And I was like, you know what? I'm calling it good. I was already, like, kind of lacking on funds because I, w I had gone so deep, uh... I mean, I haven't gone, like, crazy deep into this banner, but, um, you know, I'm at least seven multis deep into this banner. Still haven't pulled Lloyd's. Um, I'm not gonna summon any more, you know, Lloyd's final mirror jar will come back eventually someday, so I'll grab it when it does. Uh, whether it's on, like, a paid select thing or what have you. Um, but let's go over the banner itself. I'm not a huge fan of how they did this. Um... Because realistically, I was just expecting, okay, Kanata and Mizella are the first characters for a new title in Rays. So hopefully they won't make the banner too diluted. But uh, because I was thinking like, okay, with a rise, like the first banner was just Alphen and Shion. And I was thinking like, okay, you know, we do have a dual mirror jar coming out with this event too. So just, you know, it'll be the dual mirror jar and then the normal mirror jars for Nazar and Mercuria. But no, there are... They decided to create new five stars for Marcus and for Balder. Uh, where are they? They have new five stars, so of course all their mirror darts are on the banner. Well, I don't know if all of them. Let's take a look. Because I never even looked at the banner. I just did my one multi, called it good, and that was it. Um, so yeah, obviously the top three are the new mirror darts. Then, oh, so you they do actually have their overrays in here. Oh wait, maybe not. Hold on. No, yeah, it is their overrays. So you've got... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got the three new marriage arts. You've got the overrays. I'm really surprised to see Marcus's fifth anniversary seasonal uh, already back here. But so then that's two more right there. Um, And then the three on the bottom. So that's three, six, nine, ten. That's ten mirror jarts on this banner. This is not a good banner to summon on. I got extremely lucky that I got the three new ones. Obviously, they do have a 1% chance compared to everything else down here that's a bit lower. But it's still, the odds are against you to get one of the new mirror jarts, like, in total. Um, but yeah, so I am a little bit disappointed. I wish if they were going to do this, like, they should have made just... Uh, Mercury and Nazar's thing on its own, and then have Marcus and Balder with them, and then have Kanata and Mizella on their own separate banner. But, uh, it is what it is. So, let me know how your guys' summons went down below if you did any summons. Another thing to talk about. Kanata and Mizella are blue anima. I was expecting green, um, but they are going with blue. So, they'll be on the same color as Zillia, um, Zillia 2... Um, what else? 
the like Radiant Mythology girls, um, Legendia, etc. Uh, so it's going to be on the same one as them. Uh, which does tell me that if by some chance, and I'm going to make a separate video on this because I see a lot of people saying, like, now the Crystoria is in here, could we see Luminaria? I, my quick answer is I don't really think so. Like, there have been, there's been no indication that they ever plan to kind of do anything else with Luminaria. Like, even just yesterday, they put out a tweet saying they were going to be deleting all the promo videos from, like, YouTube and stuff. But they were going to archive, like, story-related stuff on the Tales Channel uh, Plus uh, website. Um, but as of right now, like, they, they, there's no announcement of them trying to continue the story of Luminaria anywhere else. So... As of right now, I'm going to say no. I don't think uh, they'll come over. But if they do, uh, if they do Luminaria at some point, I think they will definitely be green anima. Um, but yeah, so back to this stuff. So yeah, we've got the 10 Mirage Arts. We've got uh, new five stars for everybody. Um, well, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Do we have a new five star for... Actually, no, I don't... Nazar and, and uh, which is fun, Nazar and Mercuria don't have new five stars. Uh, it's just, for whatever reason, Marcus and Balder are the ones with new five stars. Um, and then, of course, Kanata and Mizella's five stars are based, which I didn't get to pull, but I'm not going to chase for five stars. You know, I'll get their five stars eventually when they get seasonals or whatever. Um, their five stars are based on their promo art for Crystoria, which I really like. And then, of course, you do have the paid version of the banner, which, at the very least, like, if you're going to dilute the normal banner with all these characters, it would have been nice if the paid banner only had, like, Kanata and Mizella or Kanata and Mizella and uh, the duo Mirage Art. Because um, I don't really see, like, you look at it, it's the same stuff, right? It's all, yep, ten, all ten Mirage Arts, all the five stars. Yeah, like, this paid banner isn't really, it, it's, it's the same as this. Like, well, what? There's no real incentive to do the paid version besides the fact that obviously probably by uh, step five, it's probably like guaranteed mirage art. Um, so that's it for the banner. So now let's go over to the event. We're not going to run the event stage because it's very simple. Instead, what I'm going to do is we're going to run over to the dojo after we look at the event and I go over everything in the shop. Uh, by the way, there is a carnival stage that is you can do it once per day. From now until the 21st, basically until Ray's Festival starts, that's going to be the next event. Um, you get like nine diamonds every time you run it because you get four for completing the stage and then you get another five in the actual stage, I believe is how that works. Um, so yeah, it's just a stage you can do daily, uh, you know, pretty much for the next week. Uh, so that's kind of nice to have. Um... But yeah, it's a pretty simple event. Uh, the story was kind of fun, you know. Kanata and Mizella kind of arrive, and they've been, you know, separated from each other. Kanata ends up meeting up with Ix uh, first, and then uh, Mizella ends up meeting with Nazar and stuff, and that's how you kind of involve them in the story. Uh, it's really cool. They play the their own theme songs, like Kanata's theme song when he unlocks his, uh, you know, Blood Sin, and same thing with Mizella. Like, their theme songs... <clears throat> Excuse me are actually in the event so it's it was really cool to kind of hear it and to just kind of see everything so uh yeah Kanata and Mizella are now officially part of the crew and I do think realistically probably uh if they do it like a rise then in you know September we could probably see Vicious and Aegis and then probably in November we could see Orwin and Yuna if they're not going to do it as like a year... If it's a yearly thing, that's going to be horrible because it'll take three years for us to have the entire party. I don't think they're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> man, I don't know where my voice is going. <clears throat> Sorry. So, let's look down here. Um, by the way, they have like all the summer costumes ever. So if there are ones you don't have, you can actually exchange for them. Uh, which is kind of nice, because obviously some of these mirror Arts, you know, their banners don't return, so you can't really get their costumes. Um, but I already pretty much exchanged. I used my tickets. Uh, unfortunately, the tickets as well are kind of horrible. They are not specified just for Connors and Mizella. It has everybody. So uh, I didn't get anything from the tickets either. Uh, just kind of a messy way to kind of handle this event itself when uh, people have been waiting for these characters for so long. Um... 
like you can see, you know, more summer costumes. I'm definitely going to try and grab all of these before uh, the event ends. Uh, some of them are more expensive than others. And then, of course, all the usual stuff like crystals and stuff like that for everybody. For whatever reason, Marcus is four stars here. I guess if anyone has missed them. Um, but yeah, you've got all these different costumes you can grab and uh, everything else. And that's pretty much the event. It's just a normal event, you know. You've got your 10 event stages, 40 AP farming stage, 80 AP farming stage, and then character specific farming stage where you actually have to use, you know, Kanata, Mizella, Mercuria, and Nazar. So that's pretty much it. So now let's head over to the dojo. Uh, unfortunately, because I didn't pull their five stars, I'm not going to be able to like do full combos with Kanata and Mizella, but we can at least show off some of their arts, uh, which will be kind of cool. All right, so let's scroll down. I don't have them like super strong. Uh, they're only in about like the 6,000s because I didn't really get too much for them. I pretty much did my one multi and then I exchanged for all their other weapons in the prism shop that I needed. You know, got all their dupes and everything. So Mizella right here, you know, I've got three of her four stars and we'll, we'll switch to our other three stars while we're in here just to kind of show it off. Um, so let's do that. Let's start with uh, her three star. So Heat Aid, that was her heal for her SSR uh, in Crestoria, like her first SSR. That was uh, one of the heals she had. I don't really recognize... Obviously, you know, Mizella and Kanata only had two SSRs in the entire game, so there aren't a lot of abilities to pull from. So they did obviously have to kind of create some new stuff. Like, I don't know what this one's supposed to be. It's kind of cool, though. It's like a, a knockback, like, flower petal. So you could, like, do that. And then combo with something else. Ignite Pillar. Okay, that was one of her abilities. And this is, like, a, this is going to be, like, a kind of area heal, I think. Okay, it's like a healing circle, but with her, like, flower petals. That's cool. I mean, obviously, I don't have other characters here to show, you know, otherwise, but cool. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this. Switch for that one. Let's see what this one does. Flame Seed. So, okay, it's a, uh, I wouldn't say physical attack, but it's an instant ability, so that's kind of cool. Okay, that's kind of cool, you know, just kind of makes a flower petal around her. So you could do some kind of, like, actual, like, normal kind of melee combos with those two three stars. And, uh, I don't know what her five star is, but I'm hoping her five star can kind of, uh, you know, do more of that. She already has two heals, which is great. Um, that means, you know, for the next event, if they add, uh, Vicious and Aegis... Um, that you won't have to, like, substitute a healer. Like, you can use Mizella and she's gonna work fine. Like, she's got a three-star heal and a four-star group heal. And then, of course, we have her, uh, her base mirror art and her normal one. So let's go through that. Very cool. So that's a new one they obviously created. And then this one will be her mirror art that's based off her mystic art from Crystoria. Now, of course, I, and I've seen the comments, in which I totally, like, understand, uh, saying it doesn't look as good as Crystoria. Of course it doesn't. <laughs> but then again, you know, if Ray's looked as good as Crystoria did, uh, the game may have shut down as well, because that's just too good looking for, uh, you know, a, a fan base to kind of support it like this, um. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the game, I don't think even Raze makes enough money to where it could support, uh, you know, a graphic style that good. Um, but I still think it's fine. I think the only thing issue I have with it isn't even the graphics of it. It's how fast it is. I wish it was kind of a little bit slower because, you know, being so used to the actual Crestoria uh, Mystic Arts, it feels like really sped up, which of course it has to be because, you know, 
they're not gonna have like you know like some of the mirage arts or mystic arts in Crystoria were like 20 seconds long like they're not gonna have that in uh because they also have the times one and times two speeds so let's go over to Kanata real quick I also don't have his five star but we can still make use of his other arts so, same thing with him. You know, we've got three three-stars. It's so funny seeing weapons for Kanata that aren't, like, just his, like, weapon. Like, he has normal swords here, which is funny to see. Um, but, yeah, so we've got six weapons to test out right here. So, let's see what they look like. Okay, so he has normal Demon Fang. So, I mean, it makes sense. You know, Kress is his teacher. That's kind of cool. He gets, like, some, uh... Is it, like, blue flames? Yeah, it looks like blue flames. And you, so you can use that as, like, a knockback to kind of combo into something else. Okay. Very cool. Multi-hit combo. Yeah, you, I mean, a lot of his moves are stuff you can just very easily combo together. Very cool. Alright, let's see his other three stars real quick before we show off his two mirror darts. Wait, what? Oh, because I didn't press, uh, okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. He does, like, a little bit of a kick after he slashes into the air. That's cool. Alright. Very cool. Alright, so he's got some good combos. Uh, I have seen his 5-star. It looks really, really nice. It kind of, like, makes, like, a very kind of, like, flashy, uh, like, ground hit. Um, so when I do have it, I'll eventually love to be able to combo with that. As well as his other 5-stars we'll get in the future. Now let's just show off his mirror jars and we'll call it good. I like that. It's a, it's like a uh, it's a variation of like Demon Fang, where he like slashes and then jumps forward and slashes again, and then here for the big one. <laughs> Kanata specifically, like he's like talking so fast, like he's having like that whole paragraph, like like. Uh, talked out as he's like fighting you think he'd be out of breath saying all that stuff uh, and then kind of like doing it yeah that's the only thing with this one is that it does jump back so you he needs something where he like jumps forward afterward hopefully he can get another art that's like a jump forward type thing uh, so that way it can be a little, uh, better. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about Kanata and Mizella down below. Let me know if you're enjoying, uh, having them in the game. Uh, Kanata's a lot faster than I thought he was gonna be. You know, originally with Prostorium, like, he has such a giant sword. He's gonna have to be, like, kind of slow and tanky, but, uh, you know, he's able to swing this thing just fine. Obviously, he has to two-hand it, because it is a very big uh, sword, but uh, still pretty cool. So, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.